Hello everybody and welcome back to the Aviation Avenue. So today I'm going to be doing my fifth book review here on this channel. My name is Braden Piscopo. I'm the host of the Aviation Avenue podcast. Thank you all for tuning in once again. So everybody, today the book we're going to be reading is Top Gun Fighters and American Jet Powers. And America, America's Jet Powers. I don't know the author. I don't know who wrote this book, so... Uh, the author doesn't say. So, everybody, I actually got this uh, book from my neighbor. Uh, my neighbor uh, gave me this uh, book, so thank you to her for uh, providing me this book. So, I uh, got it a couple of months ago, and I was waiting to do a review on it. I was just uh, in my hand. So, everybody, uh, we're going to get into it. So, right off the bat, the first thing that I like about it is we got the A4 Skyhawk in front of it with the air-to-air -air refueling... Um, tank uh right in the center or left center of it and uh on the back actually we got two a4 phantoms uh it's a really cool uh thumb or a cover of the book title and um really great uh piece of aviation history title by this book so first page we're gonna open it up so it says take off America's defensive power takes on many forms. Troops and armor land on huge fleets and, and on and on and benefit the oceans. A straight stratic durate of intercontinental missiles to guard against global nuclear war. But most interesting interested observers, nothing can be more exciting and awe inspiring than the aerial maneuvers of our screaming, gleaming and military jets. So right here we got two a4 Skyhawks and uh, two F-14 Tomcats. Now the Tomcats actually are uh, used by the Iranian Air Force and were retired by the United States in 2006 and are still being used today by the Iranian Air Force. So it's a little fun fact. And also, I got to see the uh, A-4 Skyhawk yesterday at the Pacific Air Show 2022. Or, um, yeah, so it's a really awesome... Uh, Aircraft's really loud and a really awesome uh, history. It's a really rare airplane, and um, yeah. So it's okay, we got the and then on the Top Gun students form up with the uh, two instructors and an A4 Mongoose single seaters, which is on the left. The A4 is a single seater. The F14 is a two seater. We can move it right here. One of them has the Top Gun. Um, Star and then one and another, the other one has a uh, little, another uh, badge from a uh, squadron uh, they go to. So and then the A4 has a standard camouflage um, paint and then another one is a dark paint, which are used for uh, training. Now if you watch the uh, Top Gun moot the Top Gun, the original Top Gun, not the current Top Gun. Charlie says, we will be dealing with F-5s and A-4s as our MiG simulator. And uh, the F, and then Jester says, the jets you are flying against are smaller, faster, and more maneuverable, just like the enemy MiGs. And they are referring to the A-4 Skyhawk. Now, it's a really good observation. And, uh, yeah, so... Another thing I like is the background. The it's a really beautiful background. You just got nothing in the way, and then um, yeah. So as you can see, we got two F-15 Eagles from the Louisiana Air National Guard. They look to be uh, looks they looked like they may be C models, A models. Um, yeah. So it's a really beautiful, stunning shot to see. And then uh, since and then the other pages. Since their introduction to weight warfare over the trenches of World War I, fighter aircraft have looked up upon the nights of the skies. Locked in lonely, various combat with their oppo opposite numbers, fighters mainly ignore the larger ground or sea battle. Their role is to en engage and destroy the aircraft of the enemy in midair. Modern American fighters are without the question the most powerful and capable in the world. Most of the countries of the free world use American-made fighter jets for their own air defense. So it's a really cool um, visual to see these air-to-air -air shoots done by the authors of this book. Uh, yeah, and it's a really awesome um, 
thing, and then it's an E. Air defense, American fighter duties handled principally by an awesome quartet of jets known as, known because of their designated numbers of the teen fighters, the Navy and Marine Corps operating from aircraft carriers and land bases. The Fly the F-14 Tomcat of the movie Top Gun fame, which I mentioned earlier, and the spectacular new F-A-18 Hornet, a dual world fighter that can eat effort, effortlessly double as a ground attack bomber. The Air Force National Guard fly the F-15 Eagle and the red-hot little F-16 Fighting Falcon, which I also saw at the Pacific Air Show yesterday. A two-ship and then one performed, and it was really fun to watch those wonderful fighter jets perform, hundreds of which also have been put into service by NATO, which is North Atlantic Treaty Organization countries and other allies. Besides these existing fighters, We'll take a fond look back at the F-4 Phantom, the premier jet of the Vietnam era and still a major contender in the 1980s. Also reviewed in this section are the F-5E Tiger II, a hot but simple little fighter designed for the X-Part port market. The beautiful Delta Wing F-106, uh, which is the Delta Dart. The immense F-111 Advark, which is a really long-range long penetration bomber with an F designation. So let's sip up designation and actually the f5 was used as the mig 28 in top gun which uh because there was really no such thing as a mig 28 there was like a mig 31 mig 29 um mig 15 mig 17 um and uh yeah so that was the uh, review of this book i hope you guys enjoyed it we'll go over it more uh, in the future, the F-4 Phantom is the Double Ugly, uh, just leaving with that thought. And then another one is the a lot of great uh, air-to-air shoots and aerial um, refineries from this aircraft. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Alright, bye-bye.